So Doomsday came and went May 21st, and many of the people who gave up all of their earthly possessions in preparation for the end of the world were left with nothing. One person I talked to had quit his job, he had left his home, he didn't have enough money to afford his home, he didn't have enough money to pay for food, he had a salary of about $60,000 and just left everything to spread the message of doomsday and now he has nothing. Another woman I talked to had a different story and she said that her aunt who died last year left pretty much her entire estate which was everything she had left so it was three hundred thousand dollars to Harold Camping. At first as the executor of the will this woman said that she, she was okay with that and she wasn't going to contest the conditions of the will because she knew that her aunt um, had really loved Family Radio, but she didn't really know what Family Radio was all about and didn't really look into the details of the group that her aunt had given her money to. It wasn't until about the week before the supposed doomsday arrived on May 21st that she began seeing buses driving around New York City and people out outside with signs saying that the end of the world was coming on May 21st and she saw that they were sponsored by Family Radio and her aunt she said was not a rich woman she literally just had that money in her estate and her she had a really hard life she battled alcoholism she lost her two sons to drug problems and so Family Radio is everything and so now the family has talked to several lawyers and presented their case and while the lawyers have sympathized with them and feel sorry about the situation they say that they just don't really have a case since this is who her aunt decided to leave the money to there's nothing really that they can do about it um, even though circumstances have changed.